All right, how is everybody feeling tonight? This energy is kind of sort of horrible. We are waiting on the possible NASA Lockheed Martin Artemis rocket to go around the moon. And remember, the SLS rocket has never really been launched before. It's as big as a Godzilla. Anyway, they've been having problems with some of the leakage. And then a, an internet switch. Or, I'm sorry, an ethernet switch. And didn't the Bible warn us about Gog and Magagog or whatever? Oh, yeah, warning. I may mention politics and my own opinions in this video. So if that's not for you, you may want to tap out now. I'm 50 years old. And I've never liked Trump. He's he's not funny, and he's always about like fame and money, and he usually likes to put people down. All right, that's it. I'm done with my political commentary. I'm just saying he announced he, he's running for president again. Crazy days, dudes. And just want to remind y'all that I'm neither a Republican nor a Democrat. And yeah, anyone who puts any absolute solid faith in politicians is a uh, cruising for bruising. Emotionally, you know. Here, the James Webb Space Telescope takes a look at uh, Saturn's moon, Titan. That's pretty dang cool, in my opinion. And I just want to say again, one of the reasons you may hear me put down some quote-unquote conservatives more often than I do liberals is because the majority of my hackers and, and the people who really go out of their way to mess with my phone or my laptop or my shit are hardcore QAnon guys, dude. So a lot of times, like if someone pokes you with a stick a million times, you're like, man, those dudes are not that cool. And they cheat and don't play fair. Man, right now the Scorpio energy is stacked. You got Venus at the very last degree of Scorpio. Mercury about to go into Sag also. And then the sun. So that's why I'm being a bitch. Now, how about you? The bar I usually go to is like a dive bar, but a lot of Lockheed Martin people go there. So I kind of want to go there to have a drink. Oh, it's 11-11, make a wish. I wish for peace on earth. See, I probably ruined it. All right. Um, kind of want to go there to watch the launch, but then if it's going to not launch again, then anywho, but in about one hour, Venus will go into Sagittarius. So hopefully the energy will get better. And I got to say, Trump saying Biden has led us to the brink of World War Three. So vote for me in two years is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. It's also like the slogan, like, hey, they stole the election for me last time, so vote for me next time is also a really stupid um, slogan. Doom so bad. Boobs are back, baby. So yeah, Russia supposedly hit Poland with two missiles and killed two people today, which put us even more on the brink of World War III. Um, and technically... It triggered an Article 4 asterisk, and they're having an emergency meeting with NATO to decide how to handle it. Very Mercury retrograde energy. And remember, the final week of Jupiter retrograde always feels like the world is ending. Hey, guess what? We are about a week away from Jupiter turning and going direct. We are also about a week away from my Thornu's 10-year anniversary. Which, the good news is, then, I, then I'm probably going to stop talking about it. Asterisk? Maybe not. Oh my gosh, it was just reported that the rocket launcher that launched the rocket is now twerking. I, I don't think that's a great sign. The demand for Taylor Swift tickets is so strong, tons of people are very mad at uh, Ticketmaster because they seem to have bungled it. I signed up for the long queue, and now I'm just on the waiting list and can't, can't even get in. I don't know if you guys know this. The last concert I saw was The Strokes and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It was amazing. And I definitely want to see Taylor in concert. In weather nerd shit. Uh, yeah, snow's coming to some places. Yeah, it's really crazy energy today. What we're about to watch is... Uh, this is a methadone clinic. And um, the guy busts in with a gun... It's like, hey, I'm going to shoot everybody. Shoots the wall. And then the guy's like, I'm going to leave. I'm going to go through here. But that doesn't work. So he tries option number three. And then he just grabs a dude with the gun. He's like, fuck you, man. Asshole. And then so more security guards come in. And so that guy's having a very bad day. But yeah, dude, that kind of the energy of the day. <laughs> Check that out. This is, this is 
the guy's a security guard and he shoots the wall and he goes like run and run no oh dang he's like okay fight flight or surf man hey rest in peace jimmy fallon anyway this is paramore i don't know if you guys should watch this clip it's a really cool song it's me hi i'm the problem it's me people keep telling me to watch andor but as a Jedi, I feel so burned by the late, you know, a lot of the Star Wars stuff that's come out over the last decade. I'm scared to watch it, but I guess I'll pick it up and watch it. Oh, good evening, New Jersey. Oh, Americans are scared to get laid now. Yeah, people have been crazy lately. Who wants to have sex with crazy people? Not me. GFS keeps showing the possibility of a December hurricane. You might be like, hey, Thor, that is just one model run. And no, it's now appeared in multiple models. Here's the very latest model run, having it come out of the CAG area. Boom. And here's the 12Z. And look, boo, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. So, yeah, I mean, that's how I get to say, hey, warned you guys 16 days out. Am I saying it's definitely going to happen? Am I saying it's going to be a problem? No. But 2020 has been a weird freaking flipping year, man. So there's... No harm. There you go. There's no harm in uh, watching out. There you go. Why do Russian rockets make blue bubbles? I don't know. But um, if you want to find out, you can go to spaceweather.com and read the article. And it says here, Artemis is about to launch. Is it though? Should I go to the bar and have a beer? I don't know. Let me know in the comments or you can make a contribution through my PayPal or my Venmo, and if someone sends me a contribution, then I'll, I'll go have a drink. You decide my fate tonight. It all makes sense now. Von Karmans are in retrograde. Tori Jane Osterberg says, Clouds, don't forget to look behind you. You'll see cool spaceships. Or she said something to that effect. I assume it's a she. Sorry I gendered you. <sighs> Doom so bad, boobs are back, baby. Snow, liquid water clouds, glaciated clouds, weather type shit. But yeah, there is snow in Texas. Hey, tell me if you could feel some type of energetic shift happen at midnight tonight. Because tonight, at midnight, about 12.08 Texas time, Venus goes into Sagittarius, and then the day, Mo Thursday, Mercury goes into Sagittarius, and then on the 22nd, uh... In Sagittarius season officially as the sun goes into Sagittarius. And then the 23rd is my 10 year anniversary and the 24th is um, the 23rd is when Jupiter goes direct and then it's Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for you that you put up with me in all my moods. Good mood, bad mood, cranky, not cranky, funny, not funny. Thank you. I appreciate you. Stay cool. God bless everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.